Neville. It is a beautiful day in the studio today and I have the windows open for the first time this year. There's spring sunshine, there's a cool breeze, it feels like summer is just around the corner and it's such a relief after a long, long northern winter. So gracious, so gracious, Lord. Oh gracious, so gracious. So I've just been pottering around the studio today, it's a Sunday and I'm alone in the house, Lars has gone out. I've just been looking through some old sketchbooks and I have another one that I want to share with you today. But before we dive in, I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up that there is a lot of life drawing in this sketchbook and that means there are a lot of boobies. There were also some willies, but I have blurred those out just to protect everybody's delicate sensibilities. And also I don't really know how YouTube feels about naked drawings. Anyway, so if you don't like boobies, maybe give this one a miss and I'll be back with more cats and things in another video. There are still cats and things because I can't fill a sketchbook without putting cats in it. But yeah, just so you're warned, that's what's going on. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's dive into the sketchbook. This sketchbook is a Royal Talons art creation sketchbook. They are lovely, they've got beautiful smooth creamy paper. They are one of my absolute favourite sketchbooks to use. And the quote for this sketchbook comes from Andy Warhol's Popism, which is his account of the 60s. And it says, people are always so boring when they band together. You have to be alone to develop all of the idiosyncrasies that make a person interesting. For a consummate hermit such as myself, I feel like that's, it was music to my ears. This was a cafe sketch. I didn't intend to sketch this day and I hadn't been out for a really long time. I was going to this place to kind of scope it out. They had a collective that I actually ended up joining. Um, but this is the first time I went and I was absolutely petrified. I was shaking in my boots and I was sketching, yeah, this was a, a bit of a disaster. And this was back at home. This was in my old apartment before we moved to this lovely apartment that we have now. This was my apartment where I lived by myself. Books, telly, plant. Yeah, it's really nice to have that sketch. It makes me, re me remember um, what that place looked like. This is just the view from the sofa. Here we have some quick life drawing warm-ups more two minutes i really love this it's amazing what you can capture in two minutes this is trixie divine uh who models a lot for emma carlisle's patreon and i think it was one of emma's patreon sessions here that we were using um these are some more just quick warm-ups one minute oh my goodness this one was so hard she was continuously moving and trying to capture what she was doing uh, while she was moving was just, I found it almost impossible. So that was really, that was really tricky. But then this one was static and I haven't got an excuse for the way this one looks. This is pretty awful. Yeah. Three minutes. Yeah, I was not feeling it today. And then some more, these are just two minutes. Look at the face on that, my goodness. Trixie is such a glorious model and I have not done her justice on in any of these drawings at all. I was having a very bad day by the looks of things. Um, this is changing materials every minute on the minute, which threw me completely, I think. I really like these, these are really sweet. These are just five minutes each. Uh, this is my 100 two minute poses, so these are just two minutes, over and over, and there's a lot of these in here. Yeah, any of these, time you see a little number, it's from this particular exercise. And it's an exercise that I do a lot if I feel rusty or if there's a subject that I want to master. This is lovely. This is another two minute one just done with a, an ink pipette, which is one of my favourite things to, to draw with. More two minute poses. This was, how did I do these? 
Yeah, so I was getting super frustrated with um, my, uh, my life drawing and my portrait drawing and stuff. And after doing that 100 poses, this is what came out. And this is an absolutely beautiful drawing. So it's just three minutes. I'm so happy with this one. And this again, this was the, the, you can tell the improvement, like, in just, it was just a day. This one I actually used for my, as inspiration for my uh, Feel Your Eyes On You Like Beetles, the collages. I used this as uh, to direct inspiration for that. These are some more of Trixie. Exciting. This is a fun one. This is Trixie again. More Trixie. I like this one too. This is um, watercolour marker. More Trixie. This is the one on my newsletter sign up page, if you've seen that one. I really like this. This is actually inspiration for another painting, which is a massive, massive painting, like 120 by 160 centimetres. And yeah, the pose came from from this. Yeah, and again, this is this is Trixie. And if you're not signed up to my newsletter, then what are you waiting for? You should uh, you should head over to my website and sign up for that. I send out a monthly newsletter with all of the good stuff that's been going on in my world. And you also get the first look at collection releases, when I have studio sales, all of that goes out to my newsletter list first. So you are VIPs if you're on that list. Some little kitty cats. I like him, he's so grumpy. <laughs> This is just a uh, watercolour marker and pastel pencil, I think. Um, yeah, no. This one is one of my favourites. I love this sketch. I love his expression. I love the pose. Yeah, it's really nice. That didn't go anywhere. This one I love as well. Liquid watercolour. These are some potato prints. I've been um, reading a lot of Mark Hurl's books and he does a lot of stuff with printing and yeah, I've got some potatoes out of the fridge after reading that and just started potato printing. I don't know if that will ever go anywhere, but yeah. This is a very wonky Lima. And this is another Every Minute on the Minute, Emma Carlyle. Um, session. She throws me every time she does that. It's so difficult. This one is super cute. And anyway, his head's so tiny, but... Another Lima. This is another Every Minute on the Minute changing materials. This was a Henley School of Art life drawing session. I've never drawn a man before. I don't know why. I always draw ladies. And this was incredibly difficult. This one's nice. I like his face here and I like the way that the pencil has made the transfer. It's quite cute. Yeah, he was really hard to draw and he had lots and lots of tattoos which looked gorgeous but were incredibly difficult to capture in the time. This is a 20 minute one. And this, I was tired and I was bored and I didn't, run, I didn't want to draw a man anymore. So I just played around with colour. I actually quite, quite like how this one turned out. Ah, you know, I was mentioning, I just mentioned my I feel your eyes on me like beebles. This was the original sketch for that. It's a three-dimensional collage piece. I'm wobbling you a little bit, sorry. It was a three-dimensional collage piece. I'll put a picture up of it up on screen. And it was all about feeling of alienation and being a stranger in a strange, strange place, walking into a room and having everybody's eyes on you. That kind of visceral feeling of being perceived. Uh, this is another Emma Carlyle exercise. These are horses that were drawn upside down. So they were drawn that way up. <laughs> oh, I've got neo colours rolling everywhere. So they were drawn upside down. This was a minute, two minutes. 
This one was four minutes. This was actually an ink blot, but I kind of like how it looks a bit like a saddle. <laughs> And then this is the same challenge, a bit longer time. Oh, and this one I actually did upside down. Uh, and this is more tricksy. It's so good to draw, like those curves are just delicious. This is another one of my favourite sketches. I love this one. This is done with a bamboo pen and uh, ink, I think, or maybe liquid watercolour. I'm not sure. I think it's ink. <laughs> another wonky cat. Oh, Lars challenged me to draw a dog, so he picked the weirdest looking dog ever. It's, uh, at Eris Zoe and it's I don't know what kind of dog it is it's funny looking so <laughs> this again is the bamboo pen I really like this drawing more dog these are more tricksy just little warm-ups I really like having them all overlapping on the same page oh that's more more of that dog and more of that dog. Or there he looks more like a possum or something. I'm not sure. More Trixie, which means more Emma Carlyle Patreon. More Trixie, more Trixie. See, this is what happens. You do a ton of drawings, you draw and you draw and you draw, and a lot of it's rubbish, and a lot of it just doesn't come out right. Especially if you're doing timed drawings, because there's no time to really kind of finesse anything. And then all of a sudden you'll come out with something like this, and this is one of my favourite drawings. I love it. This is mixed media. I think this is acrylic gouache. Um, some liquid watercolour, some ink. Some neo colour, whole selection of stuff. Negative space, more tricksy, more tricky. I like this one, her face is fabulous. <laughs> and I don't know what that is, just some random thing. And then at the back of the book here we have, as always, colour swatches. So these are liquid watercolour with some mixing. These are magic pencils. I have this one, which is uh, all the colours. And then I love it so much that I got a set of different ones. But they're not quite so exciting. The differences aren't quite so extreme. This is trying out my glass dip pen. This is bamboo dip pens. I really like this. I love his face and I really like her posture as well up there. Ecoline markers, acrylic gouache and coloured pencils. These are the Faber Castell gelatos. Some Neo Colour 2 and some Ink Tense pencils, Luminance. This is Lars having a fiddle. There's often pages in my sketchbook where Lars has just had a fiddle. Yeah, various things, colour swatching and colour pencil bits and bobs. So that's it. That's another exciting adventure through the pages of my sketchbook. This one is January to June 2023. <laughs>